Damn, boys. That's them. So I got these two decoys toyed on a string. Where's the con? Con jammed. Well. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa. Well, I'm on the road again here. Uh, I got about a day and a half travel to go from Wabush, Labrador, all the way to um, Nova Scotia, which is in Eastern Canada. I'm gonna meet up with my father and son there and some more family members. And actually there's going to be uh, two sets of three generations of us doing some hunting this week. We're going to be hunting waterfowl and the bird situation looks good. The weather looks favorable. Uh, and I must say, I'm really looking forward to this week. We try to do it every year. So come along with us if it's your thing and see how it all turns out. Yeah, if it comes in where you can see it in the water, right? Oh, here's one there. Yep. You got it. Good, good job, man. Good job. Yeah. Oh, see two teals in the distance. Here they are. Go for it, man. Oh. Woohoo! Another bird down. Good going. Yeah, boys, holy cow. <laughs> Man, I was sideways that time when I shot. That's it.
these two decoys? Toy down a string? Or is it calm day? If I tug the string, it makes a lot of movement on the ducks in the water. So hopefully it would uh, coax in a duck that might not want to come in. Guys, good job. <laughs> I had to shoot around the decoy on that one. set up here again this morning different spot today uh, a dozen or so decoys out in the water 15 more like it cool morning minus two a little bit of southerly wind let's we'll see what happens and there's a duck in between the decoys he's actually too close to shoot so Wait for him to swim away a little bit. I think he likes to spread though. I left my blind just for a couple minutes to go check in a little uh, gut that goes in the back. I saw a black duck, I thought it landed back there, so I left and wouldn't you know it, out of all the bunches of geese that flew out in the bay that morning, way too far away, there had to be this one bunch that came at the exact time that I left and flew right over my duck blind. Ain't that just the way it happens every time?
Holy smokes. So the last morning was actually the best morning we had. All the birds came in in dozens at a time. Unfortunately, they all came in too early for the camera to pick up enough light. It was legal shooting time, but again, the camera could not pick up the birds at all. So I'll just show you the last remaining highlights of the morning. As you can tell by my voice, I was pretty excited because it was really something else. Oh, I see some more birds way off, but they're probably coming this way. Yep, they're coming closer. Go for it, Andrew. Go for it. Good job. <laughs> we're going to have to start counting dead. Pretty sure we're limited out already. What an epic morning. Well, that was a fabulous trip uh, just on the way back up over the last uh, leg of my journey now back home to Wabush uh, what a wonderful week with family uh, I didn't film a whole lot because I was just mainly focused on uh, spending time with my family rather than taking a whole bunch of camera angles and maybe slowing everybody up and we did involve a lot of people in our hunting from day to day so as you could tell it was just a highlight uh, but having said that, they were wonderful highlights, and everything that happened in between was the very, very best. I'd just like to say a special thanks to my uh, cousin Kale, my uncle Roger and Aunt Ina, who hosted us there while we were there. Always a fabulous time, and the best of accommodations and hospitality. It, you just can't get any better. To spend a wonderful week with your family, and in my case, with my 82-year-old father and my 18-year-old son, and have just an epic journey with them for a full week is, I consider myself very blessed to say the least. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, I get back to my uh, outdoor cabin kitch kitchen adventures now. So uh, join me on that and uh, like and subscribe and you should get a notification that the uh, next video is up and running. And until the next video guys, spend as much time as you can with your family, have fun and take care.